Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I have re retreat show and tell. Projects I've done, um, things that I purchased, things my friends gave me, and some, I also have some Etsy purchases that I wanted to share today. So, we're going to just jump right in. I'm going to just, I'm trying to get cleaned up from the retreat, so... We'll just jump in. Oh, I what I wanted to start first with is my wonderful gifts from Teresa. I, you might remember that I had lunch um, with one of my viewers, and her name is Teresa. And look what she gave me. She gave me this wonderful Nebraska volleyball shirt. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much, Teresa. That is the coolest. If you don't know, Nebraska last year had 90,000 people at one of their volleyball games. Amazing. So, and then she she sent along um, a corn huskers towel for Mike. <laughs> so that, and then, and then, let's see here. Oh, I have it all, I have it all kind of taken apart from opening it, but she made me a journal. Oh, maybe I don't have it taken apart. This was from the, the gift. She added this beautiful lace to, to tie up the gift. Okay, so I want to want to show you this beautiful journal. Yeah, look at this. It's just round. It's like I love them. I love them. So, Teresa, thank you. It was so fun to have have lunch with you and everything and your family. And it's, it's really cool. Look, it's, um, what do I want to say? Accordion, accordion journal. That's, that's what I want to say. And I'll just, I'll just kind of flip through real quick and show you sort of her. She's, I, I would say her style is, is kind of grungy. It's just, um, but it's just super fun. Oh, there's. There's my note there from Teresa. And yeah, so uh, lots of lots of torn edges. She did some stamping on paper. Yay. And um, little envelopes everywhere. Just little this and that's kind of everywhere. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I love it. Thank you, Teresa. You know, that's one thing about our journals, I feel like. You can just about feel the love em emanating from them. So, yeah. So, uh, this is my gorgeous journal from, from Teresa. So, thank you so much, Teresa. I, I love it. And it closes with this. Um, this pretty black ribbon and then what you do is you put the velcro together but a bing and there it is so that was from my lunch with Teresa okay where to start here let's start with the Etsy shares okay so first of all I ordered some gorgeous rust and tea dyed uh, fabric from Lori at Piles of Paragraphs. Lori attends my July subscriber retreat each year, and she she had some um, that she was working with at the retreat, and when I saw she put some on her Etsy, Piles of Paragraphs, I had to go over and grab it. Isn't that gorgeousness? Yeah, so, and then she included I will her piles of paragraphs will be in the description box below the video then she sent look at this fabulous she asked me in in her note how what I think of the patterned linen rust dyed I think it's gorgeous Lori I think it's gorgeous and then she just sent along some strips and lace strips of fabric Oh, I love them, Lori. I think these are awesome. And I think you should, if you enjoy it, keep doing it and putting them in your shop because 
Oh, they're just yummy. Totally yummy. So thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. And she sent along a little card too. So piles of paragraphs is the first one. And then um, MK Maz. I ordered some lace from Mary Kay. And um, let me show you it. I'm glad I did too. I went through a lot of lace on my on my journals that I did at the retreat. So just some, that's kind of ecru, is that what you call it? And some crocheted lace and some trim and then some floofy lace. I don't know. I don't know what I what to call that <laughs> besides floofy. So laces I ordered from her and she sent along a few other things that I want to share. So let's get them out of the bag here. Again. Okay. Okay, and um these laces I ordered too. Love this color. It's kind of a rosy rust color. And then, oh, let's see here. The, I ordered I ordered this tag from Mary Kay, and she's put a note on it. Let me get it out of the cellophane so you can see it. Oh, that is super cute. Look at that tag. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I saw that and I had to have it. And she said... This, t this tag photo is my father-in-law, Pat, the small one, and his brother, Don. After this photo was taken, they, um, they were four and six years old. They played with matches and burned the barn down. Yikes. Oof, yes. <laughs> That's a fun bit of history with it, though. I love that. And then I also... T I also bought this tag. I thought she was so cute. Is that cute? So I love how she does a little crocheted with a button. Isn't that cute? And it says, choose to be happy. So yeah, ordered those. And then uh, uh, Mary Kay sent along her uh, master board tag kit Kit three, kit four, there's kit one, and kit two. So let's let's uh, thumb through these two. Because I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm excited to make to make some. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, love the tags. Some, and then some little ones. That's cool. And like a little tag pocket. A couple of them. Okay, so that is Masterboard Kit 1 from MK Mass. And um, thank you, Mary Kay, for sending these along. I'm excited to play with them. Okay, and this one. Oh, John F., Small tags and then the pages and then the pocket. Um, no, those are not pocket tags. Those are envelopes. Excuse me. So there is that one. And this is kit three. And I'll, of course, put MK Maz designs in the description box also it's right there but I will do it so you can just click on it so fun these are awesome and then the envelopes so that's kit three and Last but not least, we have kit four. Those are going to be just fun to decorate, aren't they? 
you know, they you've just got the de backgrounds and can add to. And the envelopes. So there you have it. She's got four wonderful kits of masterboard and tags. So that's what I ended up getting from MK Maz Designs. Yeah, I come home and there's packages stacked up on the table. <laughs> Mike's probably rolling his eyes while I'm while I'm gone. And then uh, Vintage Polka Dot Shop had a sale, so I can never pass up one of her sales. So I got some more of these rings. I was kind of running low on those, so I grabbed those. And then I just grabbed a pack of coffee dyed paper and a pack of cardstock. So thank you so much, Emily. Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Look at this fun piece. Need to do something with that. Okay, so that's the Etsy shares. Now, um, what should I show you? Let me show you the stuff that, oh, things that my my folks passed along. My friend Diane was making a quilt with all these gorgeous batiks, and these these are what she had left these little scraps. And so I'm going to make a raggedy journal cover with them. So super excited about that. Thank you, Diane. And then she was working on a Christmas quilt and she had all these <laughs> things that she'd cut off of the squares. And so I spent an afternoon cutting all these little, all these little pieces off. See, I got a blister from cutting. I was using these scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I cut those all up and then I shared them with a couple of my journal making friends that were there. And then um, my friend Kelsey gave me all these bits of, it's a grunge metallic fabric. And so, um, so yeah, those are going to be fun to play with too. And then... Um, and then Diane gave me some cuts of um, Christmas fabric from that. And I'm going to make ruffles out of those. That's my plan there. Okie dokie. So that was the fabric given. Um, I'll just show you quick. At the retreat house, I've told you before, she has like a little um, store kind of thing. And she had Tim Holtz Corners, which I go through like water. She had Tim Holtz Mummy Cloth, which I hadn't been able to find. So I grabbed a couple packs of that. And then these two kind of newer things, the stamp stickers and the cello sticker tape. I grabbed those. Um, I'll show you real quick the papers I grabbed and stuff. Uh, I... I got some of this fabric tape from 49 and Market. I love it. And I was doing fall journals, so this was perfect. Isn't that pretty? So I did that. Then this paper grabbed me. It's Craft Consortium, and it's called Metal Textures. And, oh, my gosh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. I love the turquoise and rust color together. So this one had me at the get-go. So I used a bit of it in, in some of the journals I made. But just to show you that. And, oh, another Tim Holtz. I grabbed his Halloween 2024 backdrops. And I had to play with those. I'll show you those in a minute. But let me just show you... The rest of these. So uh, this photo play, I'd never really heard of, but there's some really good background papers in there. Then I got a 49 and Markets Evergreen Season. This one, sorry, photo play, Holly and Ivy, it's called. This one, Evergreen Season, 49 and Market. And then I got the um, 
uh, cardstock that matches the evergreen season. And then I, like I say, I was doing fall, so I ended up getting a couple of fall things. This one, Vintage Orchard, 12 by 12s. And then this is, it's called Everyday Junk is the name of the company. And these are, of course, card stocks. And then I got the Everyday Junk um, 12 by 12 papers too, because they were very folly. And I grabbed their, the ephemera and those were fun to play with so yeah i i completely i blew every bit of cash i had <laughs> but we i didn't go to the um i didn't go to the antique mall or the boutique we usually go to i didn't do any shopping that way i just did the shopping um at the retreat house okay so i made some full page pockets with some of the different um the different things that we have there so this one got scrunched but I kind of like it so I think I'm going to leave that like that so um I'll use this to sort of demonstrate so then this one has a pocket here and a belly band here I was just playing with some scraps I had and stuff this same thing pocket belly band and then this one just has a pocket here, but it's got a little belly band on the pocket there. And this one's just plain old belly band, just your normal belly band. So, you know, we can stick something like that in there. And then this one has um, just little, little fun things. And then the belly bands across the pockets too for put some little tags or something in there. So did all those. That was just one afternoon. I was just kind of playing. And then I made some journal covers. These are in the style that my friend Eve does. Eve is Eve Spade on YouTube and Collective Chickadee on Etsy. But, um, but yeah, so I use some of the card stocks and um i used the card stocks and some of the decorative paper so it's got an inch and a half spine and yeah so it'll be you know three signatures probably so that's one um and then i did this fall one and um Another Christmas one, Christmas. Yeah, another Christmas one. So I guess I did four of them. Yes, I did, okay. So that one, it was a good way to use, you know, a 12 by 12 paper that had this sort of a design on it. I felt like that was a, a good thing, yeah. And that on the inside. So that being the case, I got I got three Christmas journals done, and this one, this um, brown one, I'll just save it for next fall. But I have now three that I can do this way, and I want to. I want. I'll do a video on how I made those at at a later date. Okay. So now, the journals that I made. We're going to start on those. Let's see. Let's start with the Autumn Folks journals. And I'll do a quick flip through of all of. I got seven done this time. Seven. And um, there may be a few things like some, some twine through, um, through some tags that I didn't I didn't bring my twine and so I couldn't do that so I might have that to do so fabric flip I'm not going to take probably everything out of pockets just something of interest this was a Roxy Creations challenge this of course um the papers from Rhonda without an H 
And so look, and these beautiful papers are from Joey Card Maker. And I put one of these little collage tags in this one. Thought that was fun right there. Um, some die cuts on a page. This page, um, my friend um, Frida did. It flips out with pockets. Uh, this is an over the page. It's actually it's actually a notebook. See on this side, it's a notebook. Um, I put in this little double tag here. I just put that in the um, pocket like that so it decorates the pocket a little bit. Okay, well that's that. There's Joey's beautiful digitals and I um, I printed on coffee dyed paper. So, and I all of my journals have lots of writing space, lots of writing space in these. This little pocket, it's got all sorts of journal cards and everything, a little notepad in it. Of course, lace on the edges. This paper is from um, Triple Tree, <laughs> bleh, Triple V Vintage and Vintage Studio 717. They did a collaboration there. It's got mushrooms on the on the dangles. Okay, in this sack we've got a little piece to write on there, and then I put this um, this big uh, folio folio in there. Sheesh, could not come up with that word. Okay, and. And I'm going to say I'm not positive when these will hit my Etsy, but it's likely going to be towards the end of September because I just have so much going on. And I don't like to put physical items on my shop when I'm not going to be around to mail them out. So, so this has a little belly band. It's sort of a cut down version of the page pocket. And from the kit... This was a, a page in a book, and I just made a little flip with that. There's Frida's, Frida's page again. And belly band with a couple of journal cards. Well, actually a journal card, and this is a envelope. That's it for this one. Did I sign it? Did I not sign this one? Oh yeah, right here. Right in that little space. Okay. So that one's essentially done. I do think I'll take some time at some point and go through and see if there's more tags that need something. I think a couple of them I ran out of charms on the middle too, so we'll have to have to look at that as well. Okay, and here's here's Autumn Folk from Joey Card Maker number two. Again, it's you know lace on the spine, lace on the pages, and um, some of the some of the bits from the kit there. And a fabric flip. And this was from Roxy Creations Challenge. Fun little pocket with some things hanging off of it there. Um, in here, we've got a big, big old journaling spot there. Yep. Because because I am a journaler, I do tend to leave. I would just say enough space to be able to to journal some. But um, yeah. One of these little fun little things. I need to make some more of those. I got a new bird book, so I need to make some more of those. Love the middle of this one. Again, it's got mushrooms, but this was the page that um, just stamped some coffee dyed 
paper. I'm going to make some more of those for my page stash. We have this pocket. It's got one of the Bookshop Shelly uh, journal cards in it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put some small things in this one. That was one of the things. So just a few, like, finish it up sort of things. One of the Roxy's Weekly Challenge tags in that one. One of the stamped tags in there. And Joey's beautiful papers. This is one of the pockets um, from Frida and I just had this that I put in there. And uh, another belly band with big journaling card couple of big journaling cards in that one. Okay, and then this big journaling card. I love this. At the end. So, those are the two Autumn Folk ones. So, I'm just going to have a I'm going to have a stack over on my Etsy table, aren't I? Okay, next we have this one. And who was this from? This one. Oh, this has a little wax seal on it that my friend Eve gave me at the retreat. And it's a um, jelly printed cardstock um, cover. And um, I think these is from Line Dot Arrow, I think, this kit. Don't know what it's called. Sorry about that, but I think that's who it's from. Anyway, journal card tucked in a little cluster here. And one of my fun um, stamped tags just in this over the page belly band. some pockets. This little pocket has little little fairy and inside is another piece of the um, Triple V Vintage and Vintage Studio 717 coffee dyed paper. So you can journal on the whole back of that. And she just slides in this little book page pocket. Then this flips out for journaling. We've got fabric flip there. This is another one of Rachel's Roxy Creations, Roxy Weekly Challenges. And I just, I actually took two of them and put them together in the signature. I like how that turned out. This is a triple belly band, one, two, three. So it's got those three spots and yeah. So there's stuff under each of those belly bands. Okay, some um, Tim Holtz tissue on there. This little bag has um, this little piece. It's just a piece like that that I just decorated. Gosh, I gotta use that stamp more. I love that stamp. Okay, so that fits down in there in the mushroom show and then this is from one of the bird books too i had i brought several along so i could so i could use them so i could make more because <laughs> that's how i roll use them up and then i want some more um couple tags in here uh mushrooms in the middle once again and tags in there these there's two pocketed tags in these in these pockets too just just fyi over the page um um paper pad and then this is another one of bookshop shelly's gorgeous tags hope you can see that well and um just a little pocket with a few, couple of journal cards in there and 
Here's the other side of that Roxy's Weekly Challenge that I used there. Oh, and guess what, you guys? This, my favorite lace here, I found a place and ordered some. I'll let you know when it comes. I'll let you know the, I don't remember the name of the Etsy right off the bat, but I was so excited. Yeah, and then this is an over-the-page belly band, and it's on a page that's got a little cluster here. That is not an over-the-page belly band. What is that? What did I do? Oh, right. This flips up. I forgot. This I thought I saw this and thought this is just fine for writing, so I made it a flip. That's what I did. <laughs> Can't remember. Okay, I've signed it. This is a little one. One, two, three, four pocket piece. And then I tucked this in back. I used almost all my pre-made ephemera that I had for fall. I used it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is line dot arrow. But I, I could be wrong. So, I tried to use some of the... Um, some of the digitals from the old Etsy share days. Okay, this one I've got a note. This one is Junk Journal Craftalina. Okay, so once again, we've got fun things on the edges and then this has a burlap spine. And yeah, so this digital is from Junk Journal Craft Lena. It's called Autumn Atmosphere. So that, we've got this little pocket with a little tag. And this is another one of those pullouts so that it can be journaled on. And little side tuck here. This is another piece that's got lots of journaling space on it. And fabric flip here. And fabric flips, I'm going to say it again because there's always new people. They're decorative. They add a different texture. And you flip them up and you can like secret right down there. Which is fun. Napkin on a page. Got a little, um, this little owl sack. I just added a little cluster that was left over from some other pieces. This is one of those bird little journaling card folio type things. So yeah. Um, this paper, I think this is from Triple V Vintage too. Then this is another one of those Roxy Weekly Challenge things. And I put two of them together and put it in the signature. These are scraps that I had from making the fall journal covers. And I just sewed them together and made a little page edge out of those. This is a triple belly band with a big card in there for writing. Here's one of my little stamped grungy, grungy tags there. And this one, once again, there's mushrooms. Um, little sack here that has a journaling card in it. Okay, got some, just some ta a tag and journal card in this one. I thought the yellow on these looked nice with that pocket. Again, the triple belly band and tag. We have this time a negative of a tree die cut and then this is the bits and pieces sewn on the edge we have a coffee filter pocket with a tag that I just made out of um, some stuff that I've had for a while I want to say it's from blooming Heather design maybe this is the other side of that little guest check with a couple journal cards and some journal cards behind a this is a belly band but it's one of these that opens 
and then the, your paper opens out there. And a little envelope with another tag in there. And that's it for this one. So this is Junk Journal Craft Lena. I think I'm gonna just kind of clip that. Maybe we'll tie that and then I'll clip it on the tie. Just so I know, I like to put that in the description box when I put a, put a journal on my Etsy, you know. So I'm giving credit where credit is due. Okay, this one is Toop's Craft Table. I think she's on, um, on Kofi now, not Etsy, but... And it is called Bountiful Fall. So this is her digital. Some pieces, ephemera pieces from it. There's our, there's our fabric flip. Just tag in a pocket. One of my jelly prints as a page with a, just a little um, sack with a journal card in it. And this, this is a sack that's sewn into the signature and it's got this big um, index card, journaling card in it. And just a little pocket with a journal card. This little pocket has a journal card and then this flips out. Another one of these cute tags in this one. And I've got side tuck there. And again, we've got one of these. I need to make some more of those. Those are fun. And some um, pockets in the middle here. And I just filled them with tags and um, journal cards. And then this little, I don't know, canvas kind of a tag. And I ran out of... I ran out of mushrooms, so I'll need to, to do that. So I'll set this one aside. This has this fun little uh, folio type thing in it. I think that might have been from Lori Duff. Classical Dreams on Etsy. Okay, and then this is just, you know, big tag again. Some journaling cards in here. This one's cute. I, I thought that was cute with those little people on it. Okay, just a little decorative something. There was a lot of writing space there, so I just decorated it a little bit. This is a coffee filter that's been dyed and made into a pocket. And a journal card in a pocket. And this big journal card, it was too big to fit in a pocket, so I just attached it to the... Um, flipped over side of that big sack. This has some more of the Triple V Vintage Vintage Studio 717 paper in it. And then this little, this little envelope opens up and it's got a couple journaling cards in there. Yip, yip, yip. Little pocket with the tag belly band with a couple of journaling cards in it and there we go there's that one so okay I'm going to set this in a different pile so that I don't forget to put something on the strings okay, I better keep this with it that says whose it is okay a couple more here this one, oh, this one. I love the cover of this one. So I had this um, slow stitch piece, this kind of journal topper. And so I stitched it at the retreat one night. I just got, and I learned a new stitch. I did that. Lace on it. It's um, jelly printed cover. But uh, yeah, I love the, loved how it came out with that little topper on the front. Okay, this is Home Book and Treasure. Got a fun little, fun little file folder in there. Fabric flip, can write underneath. 
over the page belly band that I just decorated a little bit and put some tags in. That's this. Um, sideways belly band here with a triple tag. So lots of journaling space there. This little cluster on the edge and um, a little owl sack. And um, I did some master boards while I was there just to be able to cut some ephemera to the size that I needed for to finish a per particular book. This is from Bookshop Shelley again. So they're so cute. Little ruffle with flower there. The flowers from Bookshop Shelley too. Um, little pocket here. We've got tag from the master board. And then a little journaling card in the front pocket here. And this is another one of the little um, file folder type things. We've got decoupage on the doily, another p big piece to write on that tucks in there, decorative down the side, and here's the other one. This one doesn't have anything on the strings either, so I need to, need to decide what to do there. This one, I put one of my little clusters on this pocket, and it's got a notebook and a tag in there. Decorative doily again. And then this little um, belly band is holding one of Bookshop Shelley's pieces. Love that. Uh, I've got a little envelope up here with a journal card in it. Um, and then this little folio type of thing. And um, yeah, it's just all decorated for fall. And um, a coffee filter pocket here with a little uh, quilted patch and journal card and tag and stuff. Another little cluster just to decorate that page. This pocket has an envelope behind that has, this piece is from ePapery. And then a little note card to write on. I This was a sort of a ephemera kit that I purchased the last time I was at the scrapbook house and I I just made up all the envelopes this time and that's one of them okay and then um, we've got a book page pocket back here with a couple little owl tags and then this little um, this little piece too I think this is Lori Duff too yep Show sure enough is. So that is that one. And Home Book and Treasure. Pumpkin Season is the name of the digital. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just love the slow stitch. I did work on a full cover slow stitch too, some at the retreat. But, um, but it's upstairs with my slow stitch stuff. Okay, then last but not least, there's this one. And it's got this wonderful little um, topper. This is from Sandy's Craft Market. As far as all the people in these that I've been mentioning, I'm not going to list all of them. I'm just going to list the Etsy shares that I did, if that's okay, because the list would be very long. So another jelly printed cover. And this one is trying to remember i'm not sure who the digitals are from if you see this and they're from you please put it in the in the comments just a fun little um piece here let me let me glue that while i'm seeing it that it's flipping up a little bit uh oh my husband is making cheesecake because our friends are coming to stay with us okay there's this little this little um sack and it does not have anything in it so i need to re remember to do that this little wraparound pocket um with some vellum stamped page this 
little pocket has um, master board in it. And this one, look at that from Bookshop Shelly. And a triple belly band again. Love some of these master board things. I just put some little leaf trim on that. Hmm, knees. Let's see. Hang on one second. I think I have the ephemera from the, the leftovers in here somewhere. Do I? Yes. Right here. Here we go. Home book and treasure. This is Apple Autumn. This is home book and treasure also. This digital. So um, I have a little envelope there that I put a pumpkin die cut on and then it's got um, what does it have in there? It has nothing in there. <laughs> so you can put what you want in there. Um, oops. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just I'll just uh, grab a note and put who this is from. So when I list it, I'll know. Big piece of master board here to write on, and um, a little pocket from mm, Creations. Ah, can't think of it. Sorry. Anyway, um, over the page belly band. One Life Creations. One Life Creations. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Okay. And stuff and things. <laughs> All in here. Stamped page. This is one of the um, pieces from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I just flipped it in. Oh, see, I need something in that pocket. Don't I? Okay. Have to get something for there. Yeah, there's just a bit more work to do on these. This little tag with my stamping, I stuck in here. I actually think I'm going to stick that down there too, just to make sure it doesn't rip. And I um, had this little double journal card with one of my stamped pieces too. Collaged page. Um, this little... Uh, bookmark paper clip is from a Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And then I have this little pocket. It needs something in the back too. So I'm going to have to have another little session with these, but that's okay. They're mostly done. And I can't list them for a while because we're going to be gone anyway. So there you go. That, so I have three that need, really need some extra work. These five though or four are done 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 so uh let's see did i forget anything i don't think so so uh there you have it there you have it for today this is my re retreat show and tell hopefully i didn't go over too much oh no i didn't i'm under great so thanks everybody so much for watching i had an awesome time at the retreat i'll be talking about that no doubt down the road but it was so much fun we had a great time so thanks for watching everybody have a grateful day be kind always and we'll see you in the next video bye